Hello and welcome to the Excellus Help Desk quick video walkthrough. We've created a couple brief videos just to help with a more seamless adoption and some people find videos more helpful than a document. We do have a very thorough Help Desk user guide and I'll show you a bit of the intro at the end of this video. But what we wanted to do was create an overview on the design and a brief intro for you. We've got a video on how to log in and some of the key screens. We've got a video on how to open a ticket and um, one on how to update a ticket and add a note to support and also um, how to uh, do a few tweaks to your profile. So we've spent a lot of time and investment seeking a, um, a help desk that will help seamlessly uh, centralize our support and all of our communications into one portal. We seamlessly transition between sites, teams, and partners. Uh, behind the scenes, we can uh, forward it from one team to another, creating ownership and um, seamless passing of the information. We've got clear presentation of ownership and the actions required through um, uh, activities and through status and through emails that are contained within the ticket. So all communications are contained within our um, ticket schema. And we've got a depository of knowledge that we are building. And you can source information, and our solutions will refer to knowledge base entries. So we wanted to um, spend a bit of time uh, showing you how to log in and what a few of the key screens are. It is a secure site. Please use the HTTPS for a seamless flow. The HTTP will map through, but HTTPS is required for um, correct behaviors. We've got, so all your transactions are secure in nature. We've got an activity screen. So it's very clear and evident that if an action shows up on your activity screen, basically the ball is in your court. Some sort of action is required from you and the, um, you'll see one record per activity that you've got. We've got a ticket screen that any ticket that is being created under your user you'll be able to find and using filters you'll be able to see is it new is it active in process or you know you can even find a closed ticket we've got knowledge base so within this one portal our combined ticket entry and knowledge base is there and you've got a seamless method to access and seek um, knowledge of different categories integrations product knowledge um, alerts and whatnot so we'll, we'll expose that to you and also when you log in you may see a news, um, a news, a news um, tab show up, and that lets us broadcast some alerts, pass on some information. If there's any critical information that we want to pass to you, when you log in, that'll be presented to you. Uh, we're going to have a quick video on how to open a ticket. Part of this design is to capture more information up front so that we maximize uh, the ability to resolve in a, um, the first time it comes in without the back and forth. So there is an option to provide more information and, and get absolute clarity of what, what software you've got um, at that time and that you're testing or whatnot. With the amount of breadth of product we're adding, this allows us to clarify and not make assumptions up front. Um, so we've got a video on how to open the ticket, what fields there are, and just talk a bit about the email confirmations and the communications that will go back and forth. And we're going to have a ticket on how to update it. You know, once you've got a ticket open, how can you edit the ticket? And um, what are the key tabs that you might want to enter and um, review? And then one quick uh, video on how to update your profile. One of the key things would be time zones. Given um, everybody uh, can be in a different time zone, you can tweak the solution for your time zone. And the other key factor is secondary emails. You can add people or drop people off of your tickets from uh, one ticket to another. But the secondary email, uh, we recommend that you put in a company address if you're going to have many people. And then you can add people in and out versus managing it through the tool so that as people come in and out of your groups, um, you can uh, they can elect to receive emails or not. And so as I indicated, one, um, this, these are just quick brief videos. There is a very thorough document that goes through each step 
of um, our solution, talking about how you get started, how you create a support ticket, how you can maintain them, and looking up articles in the knowledge base. There's a lot of power in our engine. It's got a very powerful workflow engine below it, and it has a lot of features and functionality. So this dives down into more breadth on exact ticket statuses and all the whatnot and the different options available to you. So we hope you like our videos. Thank you very much.